Well, good afternoon and welcome back to the shop. So as you can see, uh, I'm working on the doors. Now the challenge with the doors is lots of nooks and crannies, but there's also some cracking. So if you take a look here, you can see there's cracking in the door itself right on the top edge. I'm not too sure what caused that. I don't know if that was originally there from the car. I, I couldn't tell you, but it was definitely cracked through the paint. So the paint was cracked, which means that the crack was there and then we painted over it the paint shouldn't have had a crack in it. So these are cracks that have come afterwards, I think. So what can I do? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is Dremel. So as you can see here, I took a Dremel and I cut the crack or I made a groove and that'll allow me then to glass this thing. So that'll uh, give it a little bit more um, rigidity in those cracks and then hopefully that'll stop the cracks. The other thing is, is we've got panel separation. So if you look here, you can see we have some panel separation. We have to be able to clean this out fill it with glass and that'll stop the panel or from the door from moving. Now I got a few other things with the panel. Let's take a look at those. So what have we got to fix? Obviously there's some chipping on the uh, top of the door here so we can take care of that. And then finally we can see there's definitely a gap here between the bottom of the door and um, so this is definitely got to be filled all the way up and through here and then it finally makes contact just up in here. So the way you can do this actually quite easy is, is you see where it's hitting on one side and the other. I'm going to take some tape. I'm going to run some tape up on either side of where it's low and then we can just fill from here up and that'll flatten this door out and then we block up the door. So once this door is done I'll do the other door. So basically before we do anything this has got to be back on its hinge and then we're going to be able to work the gap all the way around the door. We got to make sure that this becomes flush up here. And of course over here, this is key. This has got to become all flush. So, and of course we got to fix that notch, right? So this whole area here has got to be massaged, but it can't do anything on this until those hinges are back on. So I'm doing the same thing here. You can see there's filler there, there's filler there, and that runs along the entire length of the car. And you can see also here, that is where the two halves of the mold when they made this car. So those two halves are released and that translates into the entire length of the car. So we've got to take that line on both sides, make sure that's flat. So anyways, as I said, you know, once we get these doors hung back on and we get that work done and I've got the body lines all taken care of, we can spray this in 2K. And then it's block. I mean, blocking is just tedious, but it is something that is highly effective. And then once it's all blocked out, we can start painting this car. So anyways, quick update. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button and I'll see you next time.